This is a short movie showing Gel Pro Analyzer version 6.3 and how to analyze DNA gels. Starting off in Gel Pro Analyzer, you should see the experiment dialog box. This box comes up automatically when you launch Gel Pro Analyzer. There's a checkbox not to have this box show up when Gel Pro starts. And in the case that if you're using the program, this dialog has not popped up, simply go to the file menu and experiment to launch it. The purpose of the experiment dialog box is to create an experiment and include information with that experiment that you can review later. This box is also used for saving experiments that you can rerun later on different gels. Starting off, you can enter in the name of the experiment, who did the experiment, and then select what type of gel analysis you're going to be doing. In this case, we're going to be doing a DNA analysis. Let's select that. Which will automatically launch the 1D gel analysis toolbar. And we can also add a description about the experiment. We'll go through setting up our experiment, running it, and if we're satisfied with the results and the experimental settings, we can then save those for later use. So let's open an image. In this case, we'll open a DNA gel. It also has some issues with it, which we will correct, which is very easy to do in Gel Pro Analyzer. So the first step, if you have any type of rotation in the image, you can correct for that by selecting the Rotate button. In this case, the image is fairly uniform. We'll go right into Automatic Lane Detection. From here, we can, if we have not detected all the lanes, we can add lanes, delete lanes. We've automatically set up to find the lanes, which is showing this here in the checkbox and in the preferences. We can also adjust for our lane width. One thing that's important to note is, it's found the correct number of lanes, but didn't quite find the total length. So one thing that we can do is simply drag down the bottom of the box to find the last few bands. If we're satisfied with the lane finding, we can simply press OK. And go on. The next step, if we choose to, is to define the well origin, where the DNA was originally loaded. In this case, we don't need to do that. Next, if bands are missing, we can add bands. If we've done a good job detecting this, we will not need to do that. However, you can add bands. You can also correct for curved bands. Background, you can choose what type of background correction method for your gel analysis. You can choose from none, flat, and a range of methodologies here. You can also show the corrected image after the background correction has been applied. Next, in this particular example, we do have some molecular weight standards that have been loaded. In this case, you can define what lanes the molecular weight standards have been loaded. In this case, they're lanes 1 and 12. And from here, we have a number of DNA molecular weight standards. Let me just set that to none. You can simply choose the appropriate molecular weight standard. In our case, it's lambda DNA cut with HIMD3. And I'll simply press OK. From here, we can also correct for any types of slants in the gel. Right now, it's always showing slant lanes. You can detect them automatically. You can add and delete them. Right now, since everything is nice and straight, we don't need to correct for that. But if you do have any types of gel defects where the lines have, or lanes have run in a curve pattern, you can correct for that. And now, simply I can press the results button and this will bring up the table and show for each row, each band is detected, and lane, it'll show the amount of DNA. From here, there's a couple of choices. We can show the amount. We can also show the molecular weight of the bands based upon rows 1 and 12. And then for all the bands we've detected, we can sh show their molecular weight. 
And we can also show both those at the same time. Depending upon the type of analysis that you're doing, whether it's protein or DNA, there's a few other choices here. Let me scroll down for a second. And from here, once we've generated the results, we can save these by simply making a copy of them, or we can export them directly to Excel, or print them if you choose to. For more information, please contact your media cybernetics dealer or your local sales office. Thank you.